Before you push the water balloon into this old mayonnaise jar, let me ask you a question. Do you have any idea what used to be in the old mayonnaise jar? No. Me either. It's a mystery. <laughs> push the water balloon into the old mayonnaise jar. Push, 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 push. <laughs> push the... <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Wait a minute. We can't get the balloon in the old mayonnaise jar. Do you know why? Who says the jar is too small? Who says the balloon's too big? Who says, uh-uh, maybe something else is going on? Okay, what else is going on? Who says the jar's already full of something? Raise your hand. Hands down, what's it full of? It's full of matter, it's full of gas, it's full of a mixture of gas, it's called air. Do get the air out of the jar. The only way to get the balloon in the jar is to get the air out of the jar. <laughs> Are you in need of medical attention? <laughs> Dude, if I set the balloon on top of the jar, where is the air? Inside. Ah. <laughs> what else is the air, everybody? <laughs> Outside. Is the air surrounding the balloon? <laughs> is the air touching the balloon? <laughs> is the air pushing on the balloon? <laughs> All right. I will answer that question with my scientific genius like mine. The question is this, does the air push? The answer, I don't know. <laughs> now, why don't I know the answer? Because I'm a scientist, that's what we do. Every day when I get to work, people ask me questions. I don't always know the answer. So how do I go from asking a question to, ow, ow. Oh, I hurt my back. Oh, this is not good. Dude, listen to me. Give me the balloon. You're going to point to the words. I'll talk about them, okay? You have to point to the words because I'm getting way too old for this, okay? So do me a favor. Here, put your hand. Put your hand. Here, put your hand like this, okay? Go like this. Go like this. And put your, on your knee. Hey, big smile on your face. Make a pointy finger. Pointy finger. Good. Okay, perfect. Good. All right, here we go. Every day when I get to work, people ask me questions. Good. Sometimes I don't know the answer. Good. So how do I go from asking a question to answering a question? I do something called a scientific method. Go like this. These are the five steps every scientist uses when they do science experiments. Oh, you're good. If we're trying to find an answer to a question that's been asked, asked, we start by making a guess. Good. Here we go. Now, the guess is this. My guess is my hypothesis. Who's ever heard the word hypothesis? Hands down. A hypothesis. is a guess we make after we get as much information as we can. Now, I'm going to guess the air is pushing all around the balloon. Does the balloon get pushed around? No, it just sits there. But what if we took the air away from above the balloon and put all the air under the balloon? Where would the balloon go? Up. What if I took the air away from this side and put it on this side? Smack you in the head. And if we take the air out of the jar and set the balloon on top of the jar, where is the balloon going to go? We think, we're guessing, it should be pushed in the jar. We don't know if this is right or wrong. So the only way to find out if it's right or wrong is to do something. Good. We're going to do our science experiment. We have to get the air out of the jar. Dude, hang on to the balloon. Good. And the best way I know to get air out of a jar is to use Two things. We're going to use a piece of paper and we're going to use fire. <laughs> Don't panic! <laughs> Settle down, man! You're gonna be okay! Are you okay? Did you see that? He almost had a nervous breakdown. Here we go. I will light the paper. I will drop the fire in the jar. What's going to happen is this. The fire is going to consume the air. The fire needs the air to burn. What air is left will be heated up. It will rise out of the jar. You guys know the hot air rises, right? 
Yes. The hot air will rise out of the jar. You will hand me the balloon. I will set it on top. The rubber or the latex from the balloon touching the glass lip of the jar is going to create an airtight seal. <laughs> That's a seal. Do that. You gotta, you gotta do that too. Yeah. Do it again. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Okay, if the air is pushing, and that's our guess, it should push the balloon in the jar. Next step of the scientific experiment, the, the, the scientific method, is to do our experiment. You guys have to pay close attention. You guys have to observe the results. Now, here's the deal. We're using fire. Because we're using fire, we have to make sure we're safe. This is a container of water. If something goes horribly wrong, I will dump this on your head and I'll save your life, okay? Yes, you'll be fine, all right? We also have a, a fireproof hunk of wood. That's why I have this hunk of wood right here. I also have, let me get him, some safety glass, a glove right over. It's a safety mitten, actually. See, it's a safety mitten. It's not a sock. Do you have one of these on your foot? Dude, you go to the doctor, tell him to cut it off. <laughs> hey, when grandma comes over for Thanksgiving and grandma says, what are you learning in school today? You can say, I'm learning this. <laughs> Perfect. So here's the deal. I also have some safety glasses. Even though we're taking all the necessary safety precautions, someone can still be seriously injured. <laughs> it's gonna be you. Dude, don't worry. Look, 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 look. I have some safety glasses for you. Look at them, look at them. And say, 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 I'll be back. I'll be back. Perfect. Okay. You guys, observe the results. Pay close attention because in a second, we're gonna see if our guess is right or wrong. We're gonna try to answer the question. Hold out the balloon. Stay right there, dude. Here we go. Here we go. Remember, the fire heats the air in the jar. The air is consumed by the fire. Balloon goes on top of the jar. We did it! Dude, did you push on that balloon? Did you jump up and down on it? All you had to do was get the air out of the jar, and thanks to the scientific method, we can answer the question that we asked, does the air push? The answer is... Give my buddy a big clap being awesome today. Get out of here, dude. Hey, some kids tell me they have to memorize the scientific method. Fact is, it's easy to remember this if you remember a simple story, a story called Cinderella. Have you heard it before? The prince, the prince is a scientist. At the end of the night, at midnight, Cinderella has to go home, right? She runs away. What happens? The prince comes running out after Henry and asks a question. He says, where'd the girl go? Where'd the girl go? He doesn't know the answer, does he? So he makes a guess. He looks down and sees his shoe and goes, I think the girl lost her shoe. <laughs> then what happens? He picks up the shoe and he does something. He smells it. <laughs> Regardless of the horrible stench, he drives around town trying that shoe on different people's feet, right? He's observing his result by paying close attention as he's doing his experiment. He's finally able to answer the question, where'd the girl go? Well, she's going to Walmart to buy some odor eaters because her feet stink really bad.